What's going on people? Today I'm making air fried Brussels sprouts and this recipe is simple, flavorful and healthy and I guarantee you, you're gonna love it. Stay tuned. All right, step number one, we wanna prep the Brussels sprouts. Real simple process. So grab your Brussels sprouts and you wanna look over the Brussels sprouts, make sure that there's no bruised or brown leaves or anything that doesn't look very desirable. So go through your Brussels sprouts. All right, let's see, that one looks pretty good. So you wanna find the Brussels sprouts with bruised leaves on them or anything that doesn't look all that desirable. You wanna peel off any of the, uh, anything that doesn't look desirable, like that little piece right there, we're gonna peel that off. Put the leaves to the side and you want to do that with your uh, all of your brussels sprouts you want to go through one by one do that process and then after you do that you want to cut your brussels sprout in half all right once you do that you'll go to the next step so stay tuned all right folks so the next thing i'm going to do is turn the brussels sprouts cut side up so simply go through each one of your brussels sprouts and turn the brussels sprout where the cut side is facing up towards the ceiling real simple process so now that the Brussels sprouts are cut side up, we're gonna take some olive oil and we're gonna drizzle some olive oil just on top of the uh, Brussels sprouts. We're gonna throw a few pinches of salt on, just dust them. Probably gonna do maybe three, four or five pinches of salt. And I'm using sea salt if anybody was interested. I'm gonna save the uh, other herbs and seasonings for the next step. Once they, they come out of the air fryer, I'll season them up a little bit more to give it a lot more flavor. So stay tuned. All right, people, so believe it or not, we're more than halfway done with this recipe. What I'm going to do next is place the Brussels sprouts into the air fryer basket, cut side up. Grab your Brussels sprouts and just place them in your air fryer cut side up. Remember that, cut side up. Real simple. We want to make sure we don't overcrowd the air fryer too much. We don't want to stack them on top of each other. Since we're using an air fryer, we're using a lot of high temperature heat. That heat's going to circulate around the Brussels sprouts and get a nice crispy textural component that everybody's going to love. At least that's what I love. I don't like mushy, soggy, bitter Brussels sprouts. That's not my thing. But if, if you like them like that, totally up to you. But with the air fryer, using this technique, I guarantee you that you won't get soggy, bitter Brussels sprouts. So I can fit a few more in here. I'm going to show you what this looks like. All right. So you can see that there, there's quite a few in there, but they're not, it's not overcrowded. So we're going to do the same thing with the other basket. Super simple recipe, folks. Super simple. This is perfect recipe for anybody. Anybody can do this. I guarantee you anybody can do this. Nothing fancy. You don't need a culinary degree to do this, but still get some great food at the end. I guarantee you that. So all that we have to do is set the temperature and time for the uh, air fryer. Simple instructions. Power it up. Set your air fryer setting. We're gonna go 400 degrees between 12 and 15 minutes. Hit the start button, hang out for a few minutes and be ready to eat in a few minutes. All right, so we're at about 16 minutes in the air fryer. They have been cooked to my desired texture and uh, crispiness. So this is what they look like. So here's a little bit of a char on them, not too much. That's just what I like. I don't like them to be soggy, so I like them a little bit crispy. So that's just my personal preference. But what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna put them in the bowl. I'm gonna mix them up with some extra herbs and seasoning to give them a little bit more personality. I'm gonna put them in the bowl. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with the other basket. All right, super simple process. All right, so what we're gonna do, have some extra herbs and seasoning here. So I have some salt, have some uh, red pepper flakes, garlic, and balsamic reduction. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna add just a little bit of the balsamic reduction, just a little bit, maybe a tablespoon or so. I'm gonna get it coated and that's it has a nice sticky texture. So then I'll add the seasonings and herbs on top of that so it sticks to the Brussels sprout. So that's just one of my little techniques, one of my little secrets on how I do things. All right, so just drizzle maybe half of this, maybe one tablespoon. All right, we're gonna save the rest of that because we're gonna finish it off at the end. So we're gonna go salt first. So we're gonna do just a couple pinches of salt maybe three, two or three. I think I'll go garlic powder next. Some granulated garlic, maybe half teaspoon, quarter teaspoon. All right, and finish it off with a few pinches of the red pepper flakes to give it a little bit more pop, a little bit more personality. All right, so that's two pinches of red pepper flakes. Give it a good toss. Oh, they look beautiful. All right, so grab a serving bowl. 
just gonna drop those right into your bowl. All right, one fill, put that back in there. All right, we're gonna finish it off with the rest of the balsamic reduction. Oh man, beautiful. And I like a little heat. Maybe if you don't like heat, maybe you, you omit these uh, red pepper flakes, but I'm gonna add just another pinch of the uh, red pepper flakes to give it a little bit more pop. And it's gonna be a nice color component on there too. The nice contrast between the red and the green. Sensory experience, you get to see what you're eating, you taste it, you feel the textures in your mouth, the heat from the red pepper flakes, the sweet, Bitter taste from the uh, balsamic reduction is just a party of flavors. That's just how you do this. Building the flavors, understanding the food, and it's pretty simple. All right, so without I'm talking about all that, let me taste this Brussels sprout. Beautiful, wow, that looks excellent. All right, so let's grab one. This one has a nice uh, coating of the balsamic, a few red pepper flakes on top. Mmm, that's good. I'm gonna add a little bit more of that. If you haven't tried balsamic reduction, it's, it's an excellent flavor. I love it. Low in calorie for the most part. It adds such a dynamic punch of flavor. I don't want to waste any of that. So again, this was a simple, healthy, flavorful recipe. Everybody's going to love it. Everybody's going to ask you, where did you get that recipe? Do me a favor, share this video. If somebody asks you about the recipe, I appreciate it just a little bit. If you let somebody know who gave you this recipe, if you make it. My name is Donnie D. I am the Fit Life Foodie. Until next time, I'll check you guys later. Peace.